Hello, you've reached the Zach and Rita podcast. Unfortunately, we're on summer break. Have this very special summer break episode while we enjoy our summer break. Bye. This is Zach and Rita, the podcast. Hello, everybody. Are you? Did you wait for the podcast to start? You had like 30 minutes of an opener to start the Drinking. Now, Zach, during now, su- Rita, during summer, when I want to refresh myself. Oh no! <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> I crack open an ice cold Coke, vanilla, no sugar. <sighs> now that's refreshing. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. It is summer break one, and this summer break is. It's a, we, uh, we should probably explain what we're doing. Oh, yeah, right. If you're a new listener, welcome to Zach and Rita. You have chosen an interesting time to hop on. Go back. <laughs> you don't have to, but it's probably not a great one to start on. Um, yeah, you explain. You wanted to explain. It was This was your idea to explain. So pretty much I'm a very disrespectful co-host and I'm- f- No, no, no. You're enjoying a holiday. I'm fucking off out of this shithole. This total shithole of a state. Oh, I was going to say, don't point to like my apartment. <laughs> no, this shithole of a state for two weeks. And so we're pre-recording some episodes for you guys. So in the case that something very topical has happened and you're like, why haven't Zach and Rita spoken about how... we are always the first people you would go for for training news. Well, maybe something happened to one of us. And it's like, this but is I defi- thought... This is definitely the number one source for us-related news. Well, if I wanted to know something about Rita or Zach, I would either ask us or listen to the Zach and Rita podcast available on all good podcasting apps and YouTube. Yeah, I mean, the crazy thing is we have access to our brains, but not everyone does. Yeah, so we can't just ask ourselves. Maybe one day we'll be able to upload our brains live to the internet and then we won't need to do a podcast. But say something horrific happened and I died and you're like... But Zach died. Why is there a podcast right now? We pre-recorded it. It's Boxing Day, guys. The world could have ended at, we, in, w- at, at the start of 2022. But we've only pre-recorded one and yeah, next. The second, next week's one, we'll be live. We'll be live and I will be FaceTiming in from the Gold Coast. Uh, we haven't. Do we want to decide now? Where I think okay, this is kind of the summer break episode. It's a mix between a backup episode and a real episode. So it's got vibes of both. Where do you want to do the, the FaceTime from? I feel like probably a nice beat, a beach, a bar on a beach. I would say a beach rather than a bar on a beach. A bar on a beach, you'll be uncomfortable talking around people. Mate, I'm going to be hella faded. That's a good point. That's a good point. Um, we'll have to call you at the start of getting absolutely wasted. I, I'm, look... If there's ever a point where you're I'm less wasted than normal. For the entire two weeks, I'm going to be in a constant state of slosh. Except for in the mornings. Well, then we'll call you in the mornings. Mm. 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 We'll, we'll find some time. Because it's going to happen. We have agreed that we're going to do a FaceTime. We, we discussed on last week's ep- episodes how much I hate talking to people in the morning. Yeah, so it's probably not a great idea to record a morning episode, but we need to record an episode, so... We will, yeah, no. I reckon I'll be on a beach. One of the, surely, like there's bars that are like actually on the beach. Like, yeah, you know, in the movies where there's like the bars where you like sit in a pool and the bars in like the middle of. The, I want to go somewhere like that. Okay, yeah. If you, I'm just more worried about you not feeling confident enough to talk around people. No, don't worry. There won't be any issue with okay. that. Okay, okay. Well, we'll see that next week. I'll find out about that in a couple of weeks. But for this uh, summer break episode, we have prepared two games just to fill in some space. We love playing games. You guys love play. I hope you guys love us playing games. You can keep in touch. You can follow all the games that we're doing at the Zach and Reader leaderboard. That is bit.ly forward slash Zach Reader leaderboard. Capitalize Zach Reader and leaderboard. Yes. Z R and L. To um, get there. But don't bother. Or it's in the description of this episode. You won't need to check it after this episode, though, because we both know it's going to be uh, two points for me. So uh, You wish. Time for game one? Yep. What a goal! What a goal! This is Porn Star or Sports Star. Oh, yeah. That's a big cock. The segment that gave birth to probably 
one of the best sound effects that the show has ever had. Porn star or oh, sports star? I was going to press it, but I think we're on the wrong one. We are on the wrong one. There you go, press it. Oh, yeah, that's a big cock. I am impressed that I knew where that was. I'm proud of I'm actually. That was so amazing that you had the ability to just press the button without asking. And, and without purposely pressing the donkey, I have ogre. Well. <laughs> exactly. Now, Rita, last time we played Porn Star or Sports Star, I gave you five names for a total of five points, and you had to guess whether they are a sports player. I do very much like the concept of this game. You much do? Better, yeah, much better than the game I'm about to bring. Oh, okay. <laughs> However, this week, I have swapped it up a bit. Yeah. Instead of five names, four names. So you've put less effort in, pretty much. No. Because one of them is a fake name. <gasps> For double points at the very end, you tell me which of the names is fake. Okay. Cool. Do I also have to say which one I think is a... Sp- wait. Point? So at the end of each name, so I'll give you a name. You tell me if they're a sports star or a porn star. And then in the last one, there's a fake one. Yes. Okay. And quite obviously, the score from the fake one originally... So, like, say if you got the fake one wrong, the point from that one doesn't count. Mm. Yep. Okay. Makes sense? Yes. Person number one, Joe Root. Ha <laughs> ha. Root means he fucks. <laughs> trees. <laughs> he has sex with trees. He Joe could. rooted a root. <laughs> Joe Root rooted a root. <laughs> <laughs> you just you're walking through the park and you're like, is that Joe Root rooting the roots? Oh, that's something I want to see. Um, you just read a tabloid magazine and it's like Joe I mean, Root that, roots a root. That would be a way more surprising headline if he was a sports star and not a porn star. But if he was a porn star, it'd be like he's got so much access to sex. Why is he fucking a tree? <laughs> Maybe that's his like niche. But then wouldn't he film it? Maybe he was filming it. <laughs> That's a good point. In a public park. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rita, is Joe Root a porn star or a sports star? Look, I mean, based on his uh, based on his last name, I hope I hope he's a porn star. Um, otherwise, he's like wasting his potential playing whatever the fuck sport he plays. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, nah, uh, nah. I don't feel like that would be like a chosen porn star. It sounds like a real name. Mm. Um, so I'm going to go sports star. Joe Root is the English cricket captain currently playing in the Ashes. We had the Ashes on while we were planning this episode. Did we see Joe Root? Joe Root probably would have been talked about, but we wouldn't have seen him. Uh. Person number two, you're one from one. Rita Ben. I reckon it's time for him to quit cricket and pursue his ultimate dream. His ultimate dream of rooting a root. Person number two, reader. And keep in mind, one person is fake. And I do have a bio for the fake person. So you know how I just told you Joe Root is supposedly the cricket captain? Yeah. He might not be the cricket captain and that might be a fake story that I've just told you. Okay. Ben Dover. (laughs) Is Ben Dover a sports star or a porn star? Well, if Ben Dover was... uh, If Ben Dover was... A porn star, would the bend over be referring to him or the person he's having sex with? Which means he would either be a like a gay bottom porn star. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read a race. <laughs> or can I Zach Briffer you? I'm just I trying to think if well. you if yeah, if you made your porn star name Ben Dover. Dover. Would you be referring to yourself or the person you're having sex with? Well, you've assumed they're a porn star. I have assumed they're a porn star. Uh, no, I'm going to go porn star. You're going to go porn star? Yeah. Ben Dover is a porn star. Ben Dover appears in videos including Ben Dover, the booty bandit, and in 2006 was awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award at the UK Adult Film Awards. What's the award for? Lifetime Achievement. So for like, it's like their Hall of Fame, I guess. Yeah, but what justifies you getting that award? If you've given your lifetime towards it. Have oh, you, I've, I, Have you never heard of a Lifetime Achievement Award? No, I haven't. 
It's like so. It's just you spend your whole life doing one thing. Yeah. So it's kind of like if a sports player. Sorry, I only know sports or porn. Um, so Ben Dover spent his whole life bending over, and he got an award. And he got an award for it. a mm. lifetime award. A lifetime of fucks. A lifetime of bending over, maybe. Maybe, or bending other people over. We don't know, or maybe both. We shouldn't be assuming that he's only doing one. But we all we know is he is Ben Dover, the booty bandit. The booty bandit. <laughs> uh, person number three, reader. So I'm just checking the time. We've got perfect. Person number three, see more butts. <laughs> That's a fake <laughs> name. <laughs> Isn't that from The Simpsons or something? <laughs> I'm not saying anything. You've got to tell me if Seymour Butts is a porn star or a sports star. At the very end. I swear that's one of fucking Bart's prank calls in it The Simpsons. It very much could be, but I honestly don't know about that. That's not The game, we're not up to the part where you tell me if it's a fake name or not. Is Seymour Butts a porn star or oh, a sports right. star? Oh, wait. Wait, so... Is one of so just one of these is a fake name? One of these is a fake name, and I've given them a fake occupation. At the end, I will reveal who it is. There's no way someone's actually no. I definitely, I definitely think that Seymour Butts is like one of the gags from The Simpsons where Bart is calling up Most Tavern. Uh wait, but yeah, I'm not answering if it's fake. Wait, no, you you are telling me one of these four questions. The points will not count. So I do just say if I think it's fake. Yeah. No, no, no. You tell me if it's a porn star or a sports star. But, but if, if you it, think it's the fake one, yeah. then it doesn't matter what your guess is. So I, I have to say at the end what the fake one is. Because it's only fair because say the next one is even more faker. Okay. You've wasted your fake guess and I've already told you if it's oh, fake okay. or not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I didn't understand that. But porn star. Porn star? Correct. Seymour Butts went to court in 2001 for his involvement in a vaginal fisting scene for being too obscene. <laughs> okay, no, I definitely think this is fake. <laughs> and last but not least, we've got Mitchell Strokes. Is it Mit- Mitchell Strokes or Michelle Strokes? Mitchell Strokes. Mitchell Strokes. Mitchell Strokes. What does he stroke? <laughs> Mitchell Strokes. <laughs> That doesn't sound like so obvious that I reckon it's definitely a porn star name. I reckon Strokes could very easily be a last name. Um, it's just funny because it's like, he Strokes. He Strokes. <laughs> but that wouldn't necessarily mean he's in porn unless he's in porn where he's just wanking. Well, a lot of porn does contain wanking. Yeah, but usually not entirely just wanking. No, 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 no. But it does contain it. Maybe Mitchell Strokes has an OnlyFans. Maybe he does. <laughs> uh, you could be a sports star and have an OnlyFans. You could. And you could be a porn star with an OnlyFans. You could. You could be a you, sports star that does porn. You could be a porn star who does sport. <laughs> so many possibilities. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> I'm going to say Mitchell Strokes is a sports star. Did I get all of those right? You got all four of those right, which means you have won. But have you won by seven points or three points? Is it is it going to be seven zero or is it going to be? Th- I feel four, like you've probably three, made it. I feel like Seymour Butts is probably real because that would just be way too obvious. As so a fake the one. options are: is Joe Root a fake name? Is Ben Dover a fake name? Seymour Butts a fake name? Or Mitchell Strokes a fake name? I'm happy to read you out their occupations in the little bio I've given them, if that will help. I'm gonna have to go with Seymour Butts. Seymour Butts. Is a real porn star. The fake one was Mitchell Strokes. I, I realized I didn't give you a bio for. My bio was he won six world golf championships at one point, being world number one for 64 weeks. Which is actually what a real golfer did do. I just stole their bio and added <laughs> it to Mitchell Strokes. <laughs> so that's porn star or sports star. Oh, surely they changed their name to see more bars. Yeah, oh, it's a performer's name. Mm. Yes, but that is. That is that is the game. Porn I star won. or sports star. You did win, Rita. I won. And congratulations to you. I'm glad you were able to win. Sorry, I'm just going to take a, another refreshing sip of ice cold Coca-Cola no sugar vanilla. It's not even sponsored. If anyone would want to sponsor a fucking episode, why the fuck would they sponsor this episode? It's Co- a short one. Coca-Cola, the flavor of summer. Since when was that their branding? It's not. It's not. It's hey, not. You know what? It could actually be the taste of summer. It might be the taste of summer. Are we going to do a bit of research? 
If it is, I probably just saw that somewhere and it's in my Cola subliminals. Of, I reckon they are the taste of summer. Googling, Googling. The magic of its taste in summer campaign. Taste the feeling of summer with Coca-Cola. Yeah, that's so dumb. <laughs> I drink Coke in the winter more. Oh, no, not more, but like equally. I, yeah, I don't really drink it much at all. Um, but I got it today because... Oh, I got it today because I went to Subway. Oh, yeah. Subway was something we were going to talk about last week, but unfortunately... <laughs> Do we want to quickly discuss Subway? Why not? Tell me about Subway. I, I, I just... I wanted to bring something up because I'm like... I don't know. Um, in terms of fast food controversy, yeah, Subway gets a lot of shit for not being good anymore. Everyone says, oh, Subway used to be so much I'd better than it is now. Never remember Subway being good, though. Like I, I've never really been a big fan of Subway, and I just can't remember once that it was good. I always used to love it. I never really stopped loving it. I think I genuinely stopped eating it because everyone started saying it was shit, and so I subliminally decided that it was shit, not based on my own opinion, but based on everyone else saying it. Yeah. And I just went to somewhere today and I'm like, yeah, it's as good as it's ever been. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. And I think we've discussed this before. My pet peeve with Subway is the fact that you have to make your own sandwich. The, yeah, but that's the whole selling point. Yeah, I hate it. I like fucking hate it. <laughs> but how is it all fun to get to choose your toppings? I don't want that control. Like, if I go to KFC, I don't want to build my own burger. I like it because you stand in front of the person and you literally see your food from the moment it starts to the moment it's finished. You see it getting made. But I don't need so to So you know the workers made. don't spit in it. Because <laughs> as a KFC employee, we spit in everything. Bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> well, can, do you want me to just put it in and promise not to make a TikTok about it? Okay, okay. We don't do that, obviously. That was obviously a joke. For legal purposes, too, it was a joke. No KFC foot lettuce at my KFC. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, I just don't know why it cops so much shit. And on the subject of fast food places copying shit, KFC has been copying a lot of shit recently. Why? Oh, for the crunch for the, menu. For the, for the new crunch menu. No, 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 but we don't need to speak about it again. Well, I have never, I've never defended it on the show. Have I? You literally did that in our last recording, which was last. Yeah, but I don't think I talked. No, I think I just said how how good I thought it was. I don't think I talked about how everyone hates it. No, you literally said everyone's shitting the, on the crunch menu and that's exactly what I'm here to do. Oh, wait. No, it's not. Oh, I, okay. Okay. Never mind then. Uh, I have a game. Wow. Who would have thought that you brought a game to the game episode of the summer break? Is that a button? That's not a button. Okay. Le let me play my opener. Whoa. Whoa. It's summer. Whoa. Oh, do you know things about it? Oh, let's find out. Oh. That was a live, a live opener. Thanks very much. No, 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 no. That was on the soundboard. Okay, sorry, it was definitely on the sound. I was just mouthing to it, like and exa dancing to exactly it, yeah. in sync. Yeah. yeah. Do you want me yeah. to like go in and edit it a bit to make it sound more like it wasn't recorded live? That's a great idea. <laughs> I mean, if you feel like it. Yeah, sure. I'm not no, I'm not requesting that you do that. Um anyway, this is a quiz about summer. A summer quiz. How many things do you know about summer? That's a very good question. How many things do I know about summer? Or just off the top of your head, could you tell me a single fun fact about summer? Please don't tell me that's the game. No, 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 that's not the game. I'm just genuinely wondering. <laughs> I don't know. what. I don't know what you're testing me on. Just general summer shit. Uh, okay, so the questions go from easy to hard. Okay, so in, <laughs> just based on my previous experience with Reader's Games... Whenever I say something that's going from easy to hard, it, it just doesn't. Well, no, no, no. My, my memory reminds me of games where the first get the questions are actually really hard and Rita expected me to get them, but I don't. And then the last ones are like so fucking obscure that no one would ever get them. Well, I'm pretty sure the first question is very easy. What months of summer in? Okay, so this is question one. <laughs> yeah. Is summer generally hot or cold? Oh, you are fucking kidding me. You realise... <laughs> you said you were gonna... I just wanted to vary because it goes from easy to hard. I wanted to make it very I hope obvious. It ramps up very quickly. <laughs> Summer is generally hot. Cor oh, Correct. Thanks, Raider. 
Correct. Why are you Correct. writing it down? Correct. How many days are in summer? Oh. Oh. See? It did ramp up a little bit. Should 30 days be- has September, April, June, and November. Or the rest of... Well, 30 days has September, April, June, and November. So, it means 31 plus 31, 62. Mm-hmm. So, either... 70, 90 or 91 days, depending on if it's a leap year or not. Correct. It is 90 days. Was that slightly harder than the previous question? Not really. All I had to do was go back on memory. It was still harder. Oh, it was hard. Oh, yeah. That's you had to do maths instead of just being like, oh, hot, isn't it? And I almost did hard math. I almost struggled with my hard maths. All right, ramping it up a bit with this third question, Zach. Yeah. What was... Okay, th- this is a two-point question. Okay. So you have the potential to get two points. <laughs> what, who would have fucking funk it? <laughs> so the question is, what was the hottest temperature ever recorded and what country was it recorded in? Do I get... You don't get options. If you get it in the... Uh, if, no, I'll say if you get it within three degrees. Within three degrees. Oh, okay, thanks. Um, I'm going to go... Oh, Fuck. It's either Australia or Africa. But if I guess Africa, I don't know the country. So I'm just going to guess Australia. Okay. And I'm going to go 49.5 degrees. (laughs) I had to wait. There was a bit of a delay. (laughs) There was. Oh, Um, that's really sad. Yeah. So it's not Australia. Yeah. So also not Africa. Where is it? The hottest temperature ever was recorded in the United States of America. No. In California at Furnace Creek, the aptly named Furnace Creek. And you were very way low on the temperature as well. It was 56.7 degrees. What? And guess, oh no, I'll give you one more chance. Yeah. One more chance for another point here. Yeah. Um, If you can guess one point for the year. For the year. And I'll give it to you within five years. 1860. I reckon it would have been fucking ages ago. And the correct answer, I didn't write this part down because it wasn't going to be part of the question. That's understandable. Uh, So at the moment, I'm too right, too wrong. 1911. So I was wrong. You were wrong. Why did you guess so far away though? I would have thought that you would have thought it was like recent because like... Okay, so... And I'm not hating on your quiz here. I'm hating on the way they used to measure things. The longer it goes back, as with science, as technology evolves mm. and progresses, t- technology becomes more accurate. And I just assumed it was a the result is actually an 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 an, an, an issue. Mm. So that's why I went so far back. Right. So you don't think that it was actually fifty six point seven degrees at Furnace Creek on. Some date in 1911. No, I don't. But I'm not attacking you for that. Because if that's what you found, then that's what you found. However, we do know your research can be a bit fucking shonky sometimes. This is directly from the World Meteorological Organization. Okay, so it sounds like we should be able to trust it. Probably should be able to trust Because I feel like we've done games before and had to open up the Zach and Rita court because... This website ends in .edu. Must be true. Not really. If it was an organization, wouldn't it end in .org? It's Arizona State University. So if you can trust them, I don't know. I feel like I'm going to be doing some editing after this, some uh, Googling after this. I'm sure that it's accurate information. Okay, so I'm two from five. So two points to me, three points to Rita. You had three potential points for that question and you didn't even get one. I mean, they weren't that easy. They were pretty easy. I, if you gave me options, that would be easier. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have given you options. Uh, anyway, yeah, onto something a bit more, a bit more accessible. Yeah, something that everyone will have some experience with because everyone does activities in summer. So, what do you think was the most popular summer activity in America? <laughs> outdoors. At most popular outdoors. Yeah, I need summer. to. I need to actually preface that. Most popular outdoor summer activity because the next question is going to be the most popular indoor summer activity. Mm. Fuck. Okay, so I've got two options. I'm going to go either swimming. I say I want to say going to the beach. Oh wait, I d- <laughs> I'm so dumb. I am giving you options for this one. Oh, okay. Give me <laughs> options, please. A 
Having a picnic or barbecue. Yeah. B, going for a walk or hike. Yeah. C, going to the beach. Going to the beach. It was A, having a picnic or barbecue. Because apparently- That's so sad. Why the fuck do they not go to the beach? Mate, if you think that's sad, wait till you hear what the most popular activity is. Um, yeah, I guess most people are just too lazy to go to the beach. That's so sad. You could have a picnic on the beach and you get the best of both worlds. Ma- yeah, kind of a barbecue on the beach. But um, bonus point- this is just the most popular summer activity. Yep. That's why I specified outdoor because obviously any good summer activity is going to be outdoors. Arguably better than whatever you can do indoors. Yeah. So I'm not giving you options for this, but what do you think? Oh, what? I have no clue what the answer would be. <laughs> what do you think the most popular activity is? And I'll just give you a little hint. It's very depressing. It's very depressing. Well, I find it depressing. That the, I only find it depressing that it's the most popular one. I don't know. Um, I can't. I honestly have no fucking clue. Just take a wild guess then. Just um, a stab in the dark. Video games. No, it is shopping. How is that a popular? How is that? That's so depressing. <laughs> that is so fucking depressing. Americans are fucked in the head. Ah, uh, yeah, it would be interesting. I couldn't find any statistics on what it is here. I guess we haven't done enough surveys about I, it, but um, probably because we don't have an indoor activity that we enjoy. <laughs> um, well, that almost brings us to the end. Oh of wait, the wait, 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 no, that's not the end of the quiz. <laughs> okay, so I'm two from four at the moment. Two from five. Um, two from five at the moment. So I'm not, I'm not yeah. gonna win. There's two more questions. Okay, are there more thunderstorm? Okay, we'll be back right after this. And we're back. Do more thunderstorms occur in summer than winter? Yes. Yes, they do. True. Thank you very much. And finally, the last question. Crickets can be used as a useful tool. (laughs) Can they be used to A, start a fire, (laughs) B, to detect temperature, or C, to detect humidity? Humidity. It was B, temperature. Fuck. And this is actually really crazy. Yeah. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no, I had written it down. <laughs> Good way. This is really crazy. Yeah. Uh, you can actually detect the exact temperature just by listening to a cricket's chirps. So. Really? You simply need to count how many chirps there are over 25 seconds, divide that number by three and add four, and it will be the temperature in Celsius. How crazy. I want to actually test that out and there's see if it's no true. There's no fucking way that's true. Like, no, no, no that's not a taking you, but there's no fucking First way. First time I hear crickets, and remember this, I will <laughs> test it out, and I will report back. Perfect. Report back on our first episode back. Uh, if you hear crickets while we're gone. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to hear crickets at some point. I don't know, maybe. I hope I hear crickets so I can also report back. Um, fucking, that's the end of a summer break episode. Thank you so much for hopping along. Cricketing well, along. What justifies a, a chirp, though? Have Is it heard? like when it goes like up and down, like... Ee, ee, ee. I, was, I would say every time it goes up, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can't do cricket noises, can we? <laughs> I don't even know what a cricket... <laughs> yeah, no. I would say every time it goes up. Yeah, right. Not up, down, up, down. Mm. Yep. Okay. Well, we will report back. We um, will. Uh, see you guys next week for a FaceTimed uh, summer break episode. And uh, do we have, do we want any requests from the listeners while they while we nah nah, nah. that sounds like a lot of effort this listeners is a, don't like this requests. is a holiday mate yeah okay see you guys next week thanks for listening you can keep in touch with the show anytime by emailing us Zach and Rita show at gmail.com you can find us Zach and Rita show on Instagram Facebook and TikTok all right see you guys next week. <laughs>